Hey guys, it's Jolty here today. Today I have a pretty cool video. This is the new triple blister pack from the Sun and Moon Burning Shadows set with uh, Cosmog as our promo and a pretty cool uh, Lucaria uh, coin. <laughs> Sorry if I sound a bit nasally, I have been ill for the past few days, um, hence why the video didn't come out um, yesterday. Just, um, I didn't have a voice, <laughs> to say the least. I always lose my voice whenever I'm ill. I'm here battling through it. Don't feel quite 100% yet, but, um, you know, the show goes on. But let's crack into this. <laughs> So let's check this little promo out. It's pretty sweet. It looks a little bit like Timple, I suppose you could say. Not the right condition, a little bit warped, but nothing a book can't sort out, I suppose. Um, here's a code for you guys to get your um Lucario pin and uh, Cosmog. Pretty sweet pin actually, I really like it. Like I keep saying, Lucario is one of my favourites, it just looks so epic. Anyway, so your three packs. I think usually you get like at least one holo or something like that out of these. It's not like the pin collection where you're pretty much guaranteed, you're not really guaranteed anything really. There's a code for you guys. One, two, three, four. Because this is sun and moon, a little water energy there for you. Uh, Porygon 2, Metapod, Ratata, Mudbray, Magikarp, Panseer, Krogak, and an Olin Ratter Cake for our Ratter Cake. Cake. He's been eating too much cake. Yeah, you see. <laughs> for our Reverse Hollow and a Shinotic for our Rare. Hey. So I did go to the Toys R Us and I picked up these. No, I really want to like give one of these away. Just um, you know, no one's really said that they want it. I've got managed to collect four of them. This is the per You know, you get those really nice people who put it all three separately so you could get as many as you can. Like that happened to me in when the Anolan Vulpix came out for Guardians Rising. But um, there were some people who just like. You'd buy like 50 quids worth of Pokemon stuff, but they didn't really like scan it through separately, which is sad. I mean, it does take a lot longer, but you know, you paid by the hour. <laughs> and me complaining about Toys R Us people. I mean, they're overpriced anyway for what what they sell, but it's the only really place here in England you can get the new sets apart from Forbidden Planet and stuff like that. It's quite sad actually. Well, our major supermarkets, which like most Americans, like the Walmart and everything, they only sell the older sets, like X and Y and everything. Um, but over there they sell all the new sets, which is kind of sad. Um, reverse Hollow, a little felt. It's actually quite cool artwork, to be fair. And a, um, I don't know, car, car bomb and all. <laughs> I'm so useless at pronouncing these, honestly. I can't even like speak proper English, let alone um, reading Pokemon names. It's not my forte in life, to say the least. All right, last pack. I mean, this has been abysmal. I hope something good. Maybe you're not guaranteed anything in these. In these, really. Oh, I just picked up really crap packs. No energy. Simisir. Just wait for you to focus on it, mate. Uh, Charmeleon. I really like the fact that um, they've put Charizard in. Um, she made like a a hyper rare version of him in um, these sets. I don't think I've ever pulled like a a um, secret rare of these triple blister packs. Maybe the evolution. Game oh, over. Those are rare. Plus, it's nothing decent out of these ones, but it's nice to have a little catch up with you guys and complain and put the world to rights. <laughs> If you have enjoyed, leave a like and uh, subscribe for more if you wish. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.